Learn to be still. The Eagles have a song titled Learn to be Still, and every time I hear it, I'm reminded that maybe us humans are not born still. And that maybe as the song title suggests that we have to learn how to do this. And some of us maybe are better at this than others. And is the action of being still a fight for all of us or just some of us? Do you struggle with being still? And for those of us that it's a struggle for, why? Why is it? Is it because we live in a society that applauds busyness and doing? At what pace of life do you feel most comfortable? Do you like keeping a very busy schedule? Would you say that currently you have a balance of rest and work in your life? For me, being still meant that things got very, very quiet. And then I was able to hear. I was hearing things that I had never heard before. Like the title of the book, Do You Know I Love You? It was becoming more than just a snazzy title. It was an actual question. And it was a question that I realized my creator was asking me. Was I sitting because I needed to hear this question? God is with her. She will not fall. God will help her at the break of day. Psalm 46, 5. If there's any verse that could and should be used to start every day, I would choose that one. I never wanted to be running around without purpose and just doing stuff. However, being in this sitting season seemed so slow. And I was struggling because it wasn't my normal pace. I know I'm supposed to be still and know and trust God. I know. But you see, knowing in my head only gets me so far. I needed the knowing to work its way from my head down into my heart. And my heart was feeling all the pain of the constant struggle of shifting and changing. It was uncomfortable and unsettling and yet purposeful and right all at the same time. The Lord Almighty is with us, Psalm 46, 11. God, the very one who has asked me to pause, he's asked me to sit, sit with him. I'm afraid to see and hear all that is not good and not right with me, all the reasons that I could not and should not be loved. Because if I believe that I shouldn't be loved, then I'll find all the supportive reasons to make this true. Why would I do this? And where does that even come from? Do you have a list of reasons why you shouldn't be loved? The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Exodus 14, 14.